Hello, this is Q Doma once again, and today I'm going to jump on a lovely little subject that, of course, that is in a lot of my videos that you probably already know about. We're going to talk about black people. Yes, I'm going back to black people again. Yes. Well, my neighbors, mind you, I don't know what their name is or nothing. And they gave me this little lovely little paper. You know, the final call. Whatever, whatever the, whatever the heck it is. What, I'm assuming that this is the name of the paper. Basically, it's one of the papers that's ran by black people. I mean, that can be a good thing or that can be a bad thing. Now, the front of this cover of this paper says that every 40 hours, a black man woman or child is killed by police, security guards, or self-appointed law enforcement according to a new report. Look, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. You know, for, for every 40 hours, I can guarantee you, less than that, there are black people killing each other. This right here, this is this the surface. This is this the surface. This is this isn't even this isn't even covering the whole thing. Really, it's not it's not even covering it at all. You know, see, this is the thing that really gets me. You know, black people always want to talk about unity and getting together and you know making stuff better. But the thing about it is, they never do it. They never do it. Everybody thought when Barack Obama actually got elected president that is that that actually some change was going to occur oh how sadly you was that you thought that that was actually going to happen people nothing has changed black people are still killing each other every second over dumb stuff drugs uh women i mean all type of, i mean whatever it may be black people still lack the unity and whose fault it is it who fault it is, is not the white man. So, you know, you can get that little idea out your head right now. Because everyone wants to set up there and blame the white man for all the troubles. You know, go back in time and everything. Mind you, it was black people that sold other black people into slavery. So, basically, in a nutshell, black people are... Well, basically, the cause of a lot of their troubles is, is because of other black people. You know, people don't want to. People don't want to hear the fact. You know that you know you had white people that were slaves, or you know the fact that Egyptians had slaves. You know they don't want to hear that junk. You know they cover one ear and you know they look the other way. They like you know, like I don't you know I don't know about that. You know they want to play dumb, playing games. Okay, black people. You know, that's fine. You want to play games and you don't want to listen to the truth, that's fine. You can sit there and live in delusion all day long. You know, but the reality is, it's right there. You can't escape it. No matter how hard you try, it's going to always be there. Now, I'm going to jump on another little subject that I'm going to tell you that I have a serious problem with. You know, looking at this paper, this all-black paper and everything, I know it is in the corner, one of the main people, most dangerous people, just as dangerous as Bush, Cheney, and the rest of these fools. You know, literally one step from literally, you want to talk about evil? This motherfucker right here. I mean, you can't see the picture, but, you know, I'm just going to tell you what his name is. Farrakhan. That body right there, I'm going to tell you, he's dangerous. I'm sorry. You know, no offense to y'all that actually, you know, that following, that's fine and daddy. But I'm going to tell you something right there. Y'all are following a man that's going to lead you to a very short cliff that you're going to be about to fall off. And I can guarantee you that he is not going to save your ass. He's going to take the funds and he's going to run. That is this, that is going to just be it. He is not going to get in front of the bullet for no one. Literally. Malcolm X told y'all. They told you. He told you before he was assassinated to watch this guy. And lo and behold, was he not right? Literally. Cause I look at, I look in this paper. Literally. I look in this paper. All I you know, I see videos and more videos, you know. And he, he talks about stop the kill. He has DVDs for ten dollars. 
You know, I mean, CDs are five, MP3, you know, really? I mean, really? I mean, who does that? I mean, really? I mean, this man, he got mad videos. You know, if you want to be an inspiration to people and stuff, make that junk free. Don't sit up there and make, don't put prices on junk. Get the information free. I'm going to tell you, anything that I ever gave anyone, personally myself, I mean, when it comes to information, it is free. Literally. There is no price tag that is needed. You know, if you want to know something, all you have to do is ask me. There's no price that's needed for it. That's the thing. That's one of the problems with black people. Black people always want something all the time. You know, they, you know that's like on my job. You know, it's this guy on my job named Mike. I swear, every time he wants me to say, hey, can you do me a favor? Oh, mother, like, God, do me a favor. You don't always want a favor from me. Like, hey, can you do me a favor? You know, hey, can you help me out? You know, no, but no, no, help me out. You know, me helping you helps you, you know. I don't, I, you know, that, that's, just, that's one of the problems of black people. Black people always want all the time. They always want, they always had this feeling that they always entitled to something all the time. I'm sorry, y'all are not entitled to nothing. Nobody's entitled to anything. If you want, if you want to really look at it overall, not just, I'm not just going to even just say this black people. I'm just going to say all groups of people. All, you know, people in general, you got people in general, they feel like they're entitled to stuff. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you how it is. None of y'all, nobody on this planet is entitled to nothing. This planet is here for everybody. Not for no individual group or, you know, for, for somebody. It's for everybody. You got plants and animals, all that junk on the planet. One of the problems, one of the big problems on this piece is that everyone wants to set up there and take, take, take. But nobody wants to set up there and give. Everyone wants to set up there and give. You know, everyone, you know, you know, they want to take. Next to that, you know, everyone wants a quick fix. They want a shortcut. You know, they don't want to do, they don't want to do stuff by, you know, the way it should be done. You know, they want to cut corners. You know, play games, you know, that good old stuff. And then, you know, we wonder why later on, you know, it's like it's like walking in a forest with no type of equipment, literally, and like la 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 and you get attacked by a bear. And you know, you wonder why you got attacked by the bear. You didn't come prepared. So basically you just think you can just do whatever you want and don't think there's no consequences or nothing's going to happen to you, you know, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way. You know, that's why we got so many problems as we do now. Okay, going back, going back. Another problem I had with this, this whole thing with, you know, black people. You know, black people, they always want to set up their... And, you know, they want to make it sound like how bad they got it. You know, the thing about it, I'm going to tell y'all something. There are other people that got it worse than you do. Trust me. There are plenty of us. There are plenty of y'all. Plenty of y'all in multiplicity. You know, I even heard that actually black people outnumber white people. I don't know how true it is. But, you know, that being the case, I very much doubt that y'all have a lot to worry about personally. As far as as far as extinction wise, you know, sure, I can understand, you know, the paranoia, the, the paranoia, you know, all the other stuff, you know, you probably think the white people create AIDS, all that good stuff, you know, to kill y'all asses. But you know, I think one thing I realized throughout the timeline is, you know, it's hard to get rid of black people. It's really hard to get rid of y'all. Y'all are like roaches, literally, because you know, it's like. It's like right now. I mean, you know, in my apartment that I live in currently, you know, it's hot as hell in this motherfucker when it gets hot. You know, I have AC and all that good stuff. But you know what? I still see roaches in this damn place. Literally. And you know, it don't matter how much I clean, I still see them. You know, they you know, come out the covers, don't matter. I still see them. They come from somewhere. Baby roaches. You know, grown roaches. You know, ones that look like they're about to give birth. Them daggone things keep multiplying. Don't matter how many times I keep killing them, how much spray I keep spraying them, they still keep coming. 
And in some, and in certain cases, some of them have adapted. They have become immune to the spray. They're like terminators. You know, that's how black people are. Black people are like roaches. You know, like the, you can kill a bunch of them, but they keep coming back. You know, some of them come back even, I mean, some of them, when they come along, you know, some of them are immune. They're more powerful than other ones. You know, so I don't want to hear this bull crap about, you know, uh, you know, we, you know, we going to get wiped out or whatever the situation is. Look, there's too many of y'all. Y'all multiply like every second. Y'all don't even know what birth control is. So I don't want to hear that junk. Just next to, as far as marriage and all the other junk, y'all don't even know what that is either. But, you know, I, like I said, it is what it is. Now, going back to your buddy, Farrakhan, you know, I noticed, like, throughout this entire paper, is advertisements for freaking Farrakhan. Farrakhan, he's only interested in one thing. Spreading his propaganda... Manipulating people and getting as many buddies as he can on his side to do whatever he needs to be done. He has no interest whatsoever in helping y'all. I can tell you that right now. Because if he was, things would not be the way they are. Literally. Because basically, he has all the money. And I can guarantee you, nine times out of ten, he is doing dirt. He is greasing the very wheels of that literally enslave you. Yes, I said it. He is greasing the very wheels. I mean, I look at some of the stuff that's in here. You know, they talk about, you know, you know, they talking about saving our children, you know, how to eat and how to live. Oh, God damn it. I don't need to go to a black person to tell me how to eat and how to live or how to, how to, how to save the children. I can get that from anywhere. Literally. That's like sitting up there saying that the Bible is the only way you can gain knowledge. Boo crap. Because this is the most, most silliest thing I've ever heard. I mean, it's just, I put it to you like this. It's the biggest thing, it's the biggest thing since, I don't know, they decided to put in God we trust on the money. And, you know, and saying, you know, uh, you know, by, you know, under God, you know, this is this. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's a crock of crap. You know, it's for the same, you know, it's, you know, these are the same people that tell you if you do bad things, you're going to hell. Yeah, the same people. But you know what? I'm not going to bore you to death with nothing else. I'm just going to just leave this little bit to you and, you know, just give you some time to think about what I just said. You know, because the thing about it is, black people are so funny. And they are so amusing. That's why it's so easy to sit up there and joke and talk about them. You know, in so many ways, because I swear, it's like, no matter where y'all go, y'all always, there's always something with you. You can't even go in a restaurant without making, uh, making it into some special event. Literally. You know, literally, it's like, literally, people have to tell y'all to leave the establishment before you destroy it. Literally. I mean, you know, I like, you know, that's pretty bad. You know, you wonder why... Some people look at you crazy, and you know they wonder. You know, I like you know, it like it makes me ashamed that I even have even an inkling of your heritage in my bloodline sometimes. But you know what? Looking at looking at the whole, you know, I'm mixed, and I got you know black, I got Native American, and I got European. And don't get me wrong. All these groups I have in me are equally responsible for being lame in their own way. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to tell you something. Black people, i never seen such a group of people that just come along and complain about so much in my entire life. And this, I say everyone, this has literally been a cute Doma moment. Thank you.